I mean, how can you tell if somebody's a self-serving or serving leader? There's a couple of ways you can tell. One is, how do they receive feedback? Have you ever tried to give feedback up the hierarchy in an organization and they kill the messenger? Have you ever had that, you know? I mean, who do you think you are, you know, and they don't want to hear your message? You know you're dealing with a self-serving leader. Why? A friend of mine, Gordon McDonald, wrote a wonderful book called Ordering Your Private World. And he says in that book that there's two kinds of people. There are driven people and there are called people. He said driven people think they own everything in life. They own their relationships. They own their possessions. They own their position. And if you think you own everything in life, what do you think you're going to do with a lot of time? You're going to try to what? Defend what you own. And the reason you can tell that a leader is self-serving when they won't receive feedback, why? Because if you give them feedback, and, and particularly if there's anything negative in that feedback, that's their worst nightmare. Because they think that your negative feedback means that you don't want them to lead. And who are they going to be without their position? And therefore, their only alternative <coughs> is to attack you and put down your feedback. Because they think they, that they own that position. You know, They think they own their possessions. They're trying to protect that they think they own their relationships. And what's interesting is, Gordon said the other kind of people, which is unfortunately more rare than the driven kind, is the people that are called, because they think everything is on loan in life. And I just love that whole concept.